when you lose one officer, it's not just that agency that mourns, it's the entire country. And the recent violence in Dallas and Baton Rouge has inspired a local 911 dispatcher. New at 5.30, 10 News anchor Robert Santos reports she's given up her own time and money to help other dispatchers mourn the sudden deaths of their colleagues. These types of incidents are very emotionally trying. They're very, very tough on dispatchers. 911 dispatcher Christina Miller has purposely avoided watching the somber images out of Dallas and Baton Rouge. My job was to not be in mourning at that time, but it was to take care of those dispatchers. Miller recently traveled to Dallas using her own vacation time and paying for her own travel expenses to cover for other dispatchers there, both police and sheriffs, who in a split second lost their colleagues in the line of duty. And that allowed the dispatcher some extra time off, be that to go home or go to the services or just take an extra break. Miller has worked for the San Diego Police Department for 14 years. Her partner is an officer with SDPD, so she knows the inherent dangers of her job. Dispatchers are often forgotten. Sometimes they don't get the opportunity to go to funerals, and it's important to us that they can go and pay their final respects. So it's never the same for anybody. It ever, and every loss is different. She'll soon be leaving for Baton Rouge to cover four dispatchers there after the ambush that killed three officers. My supervisor is beyond amazing. He says, if Baton Rouge needs you, you need to go. And I'll talk to my peers and say, here's the need. Can you cover? Without a doubt, every one of them has stepped up and said, I will cover that shift. That's no problem. You send our love to Baton Rouge. Miller feels a special connection with others in law enforcement. One supervisor called this the cavalry. The cavalry has come in. I can rest now. And we give them that hope that everything's going to be okay. Things will get back to normal. No matter where in the nation or what color uniform. It's one family. It's one fight. She'll be there for them. Robert Santos, 10 News.